Hello guys and welcome back, this is Hisham. Today I'll be reviewing the thinnest foldable phone on the market right now. It's the Huawei Mate XS2. If you're interested in buying it, the price as well as the buying link will be in the description below. And if you haven't seen the unboxing video, I would encourage you to see it. And again, the links will be in the description. However, let's now start with our review. But before that, we just go and check a brief history of the Huawei foldable phones from 2019. So in 2019, we've seen the Huawei Mate X, which was the first foldable phone from Huawei. And then in 2020, we've seen the XS, which is like a little enhancement over the Mate X. In 2021, Huawei launched the Mate X2 with completely different form factors. So this one had two screens. So one at the front and one inner screen similar to what we've seen from Samsung Fold phones. And then in 2022, we saw the Huawei P50 Pocket. If you're interested, I've already published a review about it. And now we've reached mid-2022 with the launch of the Mate XS2. And now let's talk about the design. So design basically is probably the most important thing when it comes to a foldable phone, because we've seen some other foldable phones. However, when you fold them, they are so thick as if you have like two phones on top of each other. And this is actually the challenge now that how I will try to tackle. This one, even if you fold it, is actually thinner than two phones together, which is really amazing. The weight is 255, which is not too far from the iPhone 13 Pro Max, for instance. And also the hinge has been improved a lot with the usage of the Falcon wing. So the hinge now was sturdy. There is a little crease. The crease in the screen is not that visible. If you are using the phone, when you lock it, you may see it or you might not see it. Even feeling it is not as it was before. When I move my fingers across, I, I don't actually feel that crease. The screen was unfolded. It's 7.8 inches, which is slightly smaller than the previous generation, which was eight inches. And when you fold it, it's 6.5 inches. Now the difference between this and the briefest generation, this is OLED color that supports 1 billion colors with a refresh rate of 120 hertz compared to 60 hertz in the previous generation. And to be honest, I really enjoyed the experience of the screen and the seamless transition between the unfolded and the folded screen. So let's say that you're playing on the small screen and as soon as you unfold it, it will actually transition to the bigger screen and the game or the video that you're watching will adapt to the new screen dimensions. Now in terms of specs, it comes with the Snapdragon 888, but it only supports 4G by the way, it doesn't support 5G. And in terms of RAM, it comes with 8 or 12 internal storage. It ranges between 256 up to 512, and you can use the nano memory up to 256 gigabytes. The battery in the model I have is 4,600 milliamp, but if you go for the upper model, which is the 12 gigabyte plus the 512 gigabyte, you will get a bigger battery of 4,880 and both of these batteries support 66 watt charger, which actually charged the phone up to 90% in just half an hour. However, in terms of the battery, as you can see that the number is quite small compared to a big screen like this, but Huawei has its way of optimizing the battery. So the phone lasts for me for a day, and sometimes it can actually go up to a day and a half. In terms of the OS and the skin, it comes with the EMUI 12. With the emphasis of multitasking or dividing the screen into multiple apps so you can launch two apps at the same time and you can actually launch a third app in a floating window also if you have a huawei laptop or a huawei tablet you can actually use the super device where you can connect all three of them together and you can see your phone screen in your laptop. As you know, all Huawei new devices do not come with GMS. So you won't have a Google Play in there. However, there is the app gallery and the app gallery is now more intelligent. So if you search for an app and it's not there in the app gallery, it will tell you where to download it. So which makes things easier for you to download all the apps. As you can see in my screen, there is like a hundred of apps installed. So I had no issue finding and installing app. 
Maps, even some of Google apps like Google Maps. However, you cannot sign into any of these apps. So any apps that uses Google Mobile Services at the back end, you cannot log into it. And some apps, you can't even install them, like the Google Drive, for instance. Now, in terms of the camera, it comes with a three cameras. So the main one is 50 megapixel. The ultra wide is 30 megapixel and the telephoto is 8 megapixel. Also, there is an addition in the front, which is the selfie camera 10.7 megapixel, which we didn't see in the previous generation. All of these cameras can shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second from both the rear and the front cameras. Here are some photos I took from the Huawei Mate XS2. And as usual from Huawei, the picture quality is really, really good. I like the colors. I like the saturation in them. Uh, as you know, Huawei always does some post-processing. So you can see that the colors are really vivid and vibrant. I might not mimic the real scenario. However, you can change that in the filters or in the camera setting. But overall, I'm really happy with the quality of this camera. And now let's see some videos I shot from this phone. So this is the 4K footage, 60 frames per second, with the Mate XS2, here at the center of London, Russell Square. I really like the colors, the details in them, the smoothness. Let me know what you think, guys. For me, I'll give it 8 out of 10. And this is the video selfie from the front camera of the Mate XS2. Again, nice colors, nice contrasts. Um, you can also apply some filters, but I've disabled all of them. Um, I really like it, to be honest. Let me know what you think, guys. I'm gonna now switch to the rear camera to see the difference. So this is the footage from the rear camera. As you can see, the details are way more visible here. So I can see better colors, better quality of the picture, a lot of details as well, good bokeh. I think actually I like the rear camera better than the front one, so let me know what you think guys. So that was it guys, this is my review for the Huawei Mate. XS2. Without a doubt, one of the best foldable phones over there. I wish, obviously, if it came with the Google services. However, this is something that is actually outside of Huawei control. Let me know what you think about this phone down below. And please don't forget to support us by liking the video and subscribing to be notified for my new videos. Thank you so much, guys. Salam.